Hey everyone, on Monday I told you that I didn't really like the story of my teeth and it was mainly because I felt it was constructed and a product. And after I filmed my review, I went and rewatched the reviews that made me buy the book. And something that I noticed was that a lot of people said it was a unique book. They had never read something like this. And for me, this didn't really feel very unique, mainly because it needed to be explained. So for me, a unique book is something that I can recognize as unique in its writing and not in its yeah, coming to be. So what was unique about this book may be that it was assigned and a project and that it was meant to be done. But you need to have the explanation for that to understand that it is a unique book. But when it comes to reading unique books, I noticed also that I have quite a lot of quirky books in my collection and I love the quirkiness. So this wasn't as quirky as it could have been for me. So today I thought I'll show you some of the unique books that I read that address points that this book addressed or in general uniqueness in writing style and formatting. So in the story of my teeth, a lot of people really liked the unreliable narrator and how he constructed the stories and everything and how everything was deconstructed at the end. But when it comes to an unreliable narrator who deconstructs his own story, I immediately thought of the sense of an ending by Julian Barnes, which is a much better narration from the story wise and you don't need an explanation of what's going on there. Another unreliable narrator who really plays with the narrative structure and showing us that it is a narration and that he might not be exactly the most trustworthy person is Dave Eggers in a heartbreaking work of staggering genius, which is hard to read. And I don't say I really, really liked it, but it always got my attention back when I was slipping and thinking like, this is bad. Another unreliable narrator that I enjoyed reading and found very captivating in the production of her story is of course Blue in a special topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel, which is built up like a curriculum for an essay or a thesis or a PhD work or dissertation with a lot of references and quotes to other books. and. As you read, you learn more about this character and you start to wonder if she really understands what's going on. And I really recommend this book if you haven't read it yet. Don't trust the topic and the title and the cover. It has nothing to do with the story. It's all explained in the book. When it comes to interesting narrative techniques or special ways of telling a story with including stories in others, I of course have to mention the Gargoyle, which tells a story by telling stories through other stories and incorporating them in the story as well. But we can also see something similar in The End of Mr. Y by Scarlett Thomas, where their main character is looking for a book and keeps reading out of the book and incorporates that in her own life and there are connections between that. So it's not really other story stories, but there is another story that you get to read in the book. When it comes to playing with formatting and writing style, there are many different ways of doing that. Jennifer Egan's A Visit from the Goon Squad, for example, tells each chapter a different story of different people. And one chapter is told by slideshows, which I really enjoyed. And this book is very thought provoking, plays in different times, different things, and each chapter skillfully connects with the next. I can highly recommend it if you haven't read it. And of course, I cannot talk about playing with language and with writing without mentioning LMNOP by Mark Dunn, which talks about the deconstruction of language, what happens to your communication and your society if you take parts of language away and their ways of expressing yourselves. These were some of the less obscure books to look at. I cannot talk about unique writing without mentioning Jonathan Safran Foer, which I have seen being critiqued as pretentious and just using the structure to tell the stories instead of telling a good story before, but I completely disagree. I have one short story by him in the Underbridge Pocket Book of Lightning, where he already shows how difficult it is to use language. And I really liked how he incorporated signs to express things because language wasn't enough. But Jonathan Seffer Fur really deconstructs a lot of the normal narrative styles that we have. And everything is illuminated. He tells two stories or more stories than one in different chapters from different perspectives. And he also uses language to convey what he feels and how the characters change. You can see that in their narration. In Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, he also conveys the inability of how language isn't always enough, which 
also is seen in the way the book is written towards the end. And of course in Tree of Codes he completely deconstructs the text by cutting away a lot of the words and leaving us to find out how to read the text and what to find in the text. I thought this was very interesting and very unique and I had not seen this before. Other ways of really creative or different ways of writing we have recently seen in Illumine, which a lot of people enjoyed on booktube because it incorporates different narratives and different formats all throughout the book. Telling stories with the help of pictures has been done before and we all know Ransom Rick's stories where he uses old photos that he saw and builds a story around that. Playing with format we can also see in Mark Z. Danielewski's work either The Familiar or The House of Leaves. And the last book I want to mention is of course S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Doors, which is a library book that you have to break the seal to even get to. And the book itself is not the title of the book or the most interesting of the book. The whole book is full of notes by two characters or people reading the book and writing notes back and forth. And I've heard a lot of people complain about how this book itself isn't really good. They ask like, but how is the book when you talk about the book? And I think the ship of thesis is not the point of the book. For me, the story is more of the two people reading it and their experience and their interaction through the book and they're talking and communicating about it not only by writing in the margins but also by sticking stuff in the book so if you're looking for unique reads this is something to check out there are of course many many more but a unique book for me makes one which is unique on its own where i don't need to look at why is it unique what makes it unique the book should tell me the special things. It should show it to me. There are of course more ways of playing with narration, going back and forth with flashbacks and telling stories and incorporating stories and narrations by others, multiple narrators, and I do have tons of those. Let me know in comments what is a unique book for you? What kind of quirky books have you read? Can you recommend any to me that you think I might like? Let's talk unique and quirky books. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye!